This is Dr. Eisenbrown. I'm here to answer some of your questions about the common urology problems that we see. Let's talk about overactive bladder. This is an extremely common problem and a very expensive problem to our society. It costs us over $76 billion a year to treat patients with overactive bladder, which actually is more than the net value of the NFL, the NBA, Major League Baseball, and uh, the National Hockey League. It's also the net worth of Bill Gates, which I think is fairly interesting. It affects 33 million Americans. The most common symptoms of overactive bladder are frequency, urgency, nocturia, which is getting up in the middle of the night to urinate, and urge urinary incontinence. The pathology for overactive bladder comes from a weakened bladder and a weakened pelvic floor. Remember, your bladder knows how to empty itself. That's how you emptied it when you were a baby. Your bladder just fills and empties all by itself. We learn to control that when we potty train. We hopefully regain that control as we get older, but as the pelvic floor muscles weaken and the bladder muscle weakens, then you end up with these symptoms of frequency, urgency, and urgent or incontinence.